Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics. We are making a building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be showing you how to set up, set up a Zap hosting um, account. If you wanted to a, have a hoster to host uh, one of your games, this will be one of the best hosts to come to. If you scroll down on their page, they have uh, their services right here that they offer, which is a game server, web space, root server, bot software, dedicated server, um, Jitsi, VoIP server, V server, domain premium storage, um, what's this, Andre and Marketplace. Um, if you scroll down, they also let you know their server locations uh, from Montreal, uh, Brazil, Asia, US, Australia, UK, and Finland. And also, they have uh, some games down here that are um, one of the popular games. As we can see, you have your 5M, 5M mod uh, for things like GTA 5. You got your Minecraft, Valheim, Curse, uh, DayZ. You have your 5 Rage MP mod, Gary's mod, um, let's see, Arc SC, um, Rust, Counter Strike, SCP, and Feed the Beast. And if you click right here, you will be able to see um, a long list of uh, other games that they host as well. All right, so let's go ahead and click right here. Right here, you're going to. Uh, see these games if you scroll down you have uh the new games right here that's been added i'm not going to read all of these games right here but um if you just check them out see whichever one that you're interested in you scroll down they have a best seller category explore more game servers if you wanted to you can see uh, seven days to die arc all these different games are inside here as well Minecraft they even offer lifetime servers um, currently right now it's only eight you got feed the beast AT launcher voids wrath launcher Minecraft uh, Technic life in the woods and curse um, then they have their pre-order the pre-order right here this is the arc why lands survived the nights all these different type of games that you could order for pre-order now, once you have uh, found the game that you want, I am going to pick 5M, 5M mod Windows, starting at 588. They also have it for um, they also have it for Linux. If you want it Linux, I'm going to go ahead and choose the Windows. Once you uh, select which one you want, it should bring you to the screen right here. You scroll down. Um, they'll have um, 5m game servers games right here now the one that you picked it one that you selected will be right here all you have to do is go ahead and select that green button right under your selection all right now that the page is loaded up as you can see at the top they have a uh, high speed ssds ddos protection automatic setup and switch games also have information about this product that you can read as well then down here is where you want to choose uh, your server if you want it for Windows or Linux. All right, so um, since I chose the 5, 5M mod, I'm selecting the 5, 5M mod Windows. And before we go any further, also, if you look right here on my right hand side, there will be um, a little column right here. And this column right here is going to tally up all of your expenses, okay? Um, if you go down and continue to scroll, right here is the location this is where you would want to um, select where you want to um, select your server to come from okay so um if you select ping check it's going to show you all the ping checks for all these different locations now for me since i'm in the us and uh, this one will be a little closer to where i reside 
then I will go ahead and, and choose this one. So if you stayed anywhere in Europe, whichever one of these three locations is closer to you, then you want to choose that. And you could also use the ping check also that will help you to zero down which one is closer to you because it will have the least MS, it will have the least uh, numbers right here so for example if uh you're in europe and they only had three locations right here then uh you will want to go with this one right here the german one so if i'm in america right here and um these right here as you can see um it has 77 ms and this one has 46 so i want to go with the the one that has the lesser all right once you have selected your uh, location when it come down you also have the option to select game server slot right here as well and if you don't understand um the locations also you could just select this right here it'll be an explanation mark where well it'll be an eye and um once you hover your mouse over it then the information will pop up and let you know exactly what it's about so if you scroll down go to game server Hover over here, it will say the maximum amount of players who can connect to your game server at the same time. The accoladed memory to your game server depends on booked slots. So right here is where you want to adjust how many slots you want for your server. If you want to have um, about, you know, just only 10, 10 people, then you can just leave it at 10. If you want more than that, somewhere around 30, you can go ahead and just put up to 30. Now they have about 128 slots uh, max that you could... Um, that you could buy all right so if you um, have a large crowd then go ahead and adjust it to where you want it and then you will have the price right here at the bottom and keep in mind that over here in the column this price at the bottom which is the total will change also now going over to the memory boost additional memory you want to select right here where it says a memory boost you are able to expand your game service memory some mods and plugins need more memory so if you uh this all depends on how much you plan on putting inside your server if you plan on having a lot inside your server then you might want to go with about six rams and up all right depends on how much you're trying to put in now wherever that you um put this cursor at or put this mark at will um adjust the price to uh how many gigs of ram that you want and you will also see the price change over here as well scroll down and then you will have uh your cpu and host server I have mines on standard premium servers are ideal for projects that require a large number of players on projects where extremely fast ssds and the high cpu clock rate are important the average utilization of premium system is kept below 40 percent so even larger peaks can be intercepted without any problems i go ahead and just um, select the standard uh, feel free to select the premium if uh, that's what you want to do Next up, the next option over will be our own IPv4 address. When switching between games, the IP address is retained. You get the standard port of the respective game and thus a better DDoS protection. Only in um, Germany, DDO, DDoS manager panel. <clears throat> so I um, selected no own IP address so I could be assigned one for my server and right here you have uh your ddos manager overview you can either have no access to it or you can select access to it now if you have no access to it it will be zero if you select access to it then it will charge you all right and it will charge you about a dollar 20 i believe it is all right this option gives you the access to the ddos manager where you can view past attacks you can also activate notification of ongoing ddos attacks on your server then below you have your settlement type this is how you are going to be paying for your server uh single payment single payment no further obligation to pay you have to prepay which is no contract mandatory anonymous no personal data required automatic suspension if you don't renew your service now for the contract it renews automatically cancellation by click at our web panel period of notice seven days root servers 28 days personal data required okay so if you don't want to enter any in your information and you're not sure if you're gonna um be uh dedicated to using uh, this host then you can go ahead and select prepaid when you select prepaid um you will be paying a month and every month that you don't pay well if you the first month that you don't pay 
uh, your server will be down okay so you're actually paying to keep it up with prepaid with contract they automatically take out the money out of uh, your uh, settlement plan or your uh, payment plan that you had set up with that posting so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on prepaid for right now and then next over you have your billing interval you choose for what period you want to book and pay the server if you choose the prepaid option your server will be suspended after that period if you don't renew it manually if you choose contract the server will be renewed automatically after that period so you have the option to go ahead and choose how many months or years that you want to make your prepaid purchase now if you're going for month to month then you can just leave it on month or just select month if you want to try it out for seven days then go ahead and select seven days if you want to go three months a year two years so forth and so on and as you can see on some of these months and years they have a discount which will be uh, minus 10 percent off of the total price all right <clears throat> now if we continue to go down um, as you can see, I didn't sign in this. Um, if you ever signed in, go ahead and sign in. Uh, you won't be able to uh, complete the purchase or complete the deal for the server until you actually sign in. So once you sign in, you will be directed to these payment methods, which you can pay with Zap Coins, PayPal, Payment Wall, your credit card or Bitcoin. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how this looks. Um, let me go ahead and tally up everything. Uh, want that, and I want about six rams, thirty slots. And yep, that looks about right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in to my web panel and show you what that looks like. All right, now we are at the web panel after you have signed in and have purchased your server. For whichever game that you want this will be your web panel your web panel can be accessed right here from this little icon right here when you hover over it it says web interface this is where your web panel will be at so what we want to do um right now you might see that some things are blurred out because that is the ip for my server okay that is something that you want to keep to yourself you don't want to share that with anyone it's going to be located right here and it will be up here also once you click on your game server page now if you come right here into my game servers you will see all the game servers that you have purchased for me I only purchased this one which is 5m 5m mod windows and it says expires and be ready okay so um uh, at the bottom let's go through these I have my server running right now at the bottom uh, you will see a little icon that has an eye it's going to say show game server this is where you want to select to see your game server in order to install uh, mods or resources or uh, make any adjustments to the configuration of your server you want to select it right here and when it is running you will see this right here where you could stop it and you will also be able to open up your live council from right here as well and you will be able to see your package okay so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, scroll down and show you what else is on this page as well now they also um, have some more space for other things that you might have purchased if you had any uh, team speak or any other servers um, uh things like that like my voice bots my web spaces domains all that stuff will be down here as well now let's go ahead and click on the package that i have all right now this is a glimpse at the package that i have um as you can see at the top right here i have about 30 slots which is um costing about 11.82 and um, i chose my location that's about two dollars um, my memory boost, I um, drug it down from 6 gigs to 3 gigs, and it's costing me $8.64. I have the standard CPU and host server, uh, which is costing me nothing. Then um, I don't own the IP address, so it's costing me nothing. Uh, IP4 address, excuse me. 
in the DDoS manager overview. Um, I don't request any access to it, so I'm not paying for that. And the billing interval is at one month, so that's at zero as well. I picked a uh, prepaid for my settlement type that is at two dollars and five cents. So as you can see at the bottom, my total is twenty-four dollars and fifty-five cents. And right here will be a glimpse at your server page or your server panel, navigation panel, whichever you want to call it. This right here is where you will be able to see um, the back end of your server pretty much. I have a few things um, blurred out, uh, which is the IP address for the server and um, my IP port as well. All right, so let's navigate around those blurred spots. Let's start off with um, right here, as you can see the location that I picked from earlier, the status of my server is online. Uh, this right here will be your IP port that you wanna keep to yourself. Then you have uh, the amount of used space that your server is using at the moment. Then you have the active game or the active server that you have running. Over here will be your server name. And over here will be map uh, for GTA 5. It's gonna be on 5M map skater by default. And right here is where you can see how many players are inside of your server. And right here is where you can check your nucleus set. It's going to show you another back page where you could uh, access the administration part of your server and be able to ban players and things like that as well. Now, right here, if you click right here, this is where it opens up your council app. If you scroll down right here in the settings, this is where you could access your configs as well as your resources and your FTB browser and database. I have made a tutorial on how to install uh, different type of scripts or mods inside your resources if you're using zap hosting for a hosted um, for a hoster you could go ahead and check that out the link will be down in the description make sure that you check that out that will show you the in-depth of um, installing any scripts and mods into your server through the resources using your ftb browser all right so definitely go check that out if this helped y'all out to install this or set up your account actually so you could use that posting to host your server go ahead and smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all this is games and graphics my I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.